Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can simply and quickly make these Mr and Mrs designs using Scan and Cut Canvas. These are quite popular for card makers or you can cut these in vinyl and make wall art out of them. You can even cut them in fabric and applique them. And they're very simple to make in Scan and Cut Canvas. So I'm going to show you how I created this one. So I'm going to go to my projects and I'm going to create a new project. So first of all, I'm going to come down to the text icon and I'm going to scroll near the bottom and I'm going to use this new font here called Cairo. So I'm going to double click to select it. Once I've got the flashing cursor, I'm going to backspace to get rid of the word text. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to type the ampersand, which on my keyboard is over the number seven. Then I'm going to select it, hold the shift key down and I'm going to drag it out to make it bigger. It doesn't really matter what size at this stage because as you can see here, the bounding box that runs around this ampersand is the actual size that's showing here. It's this, this 12 inches high is not the size of this ampersand. So I'm just going to make it big enough to work with it at the moment. Then I'm going to come back to the text, select the text again, double click to get the flashing cursor, and this time I'm going to type Mrs, all in capital letters. While it's selected, right click and hit duplicate. Then I'm just going to double click to select this one and use the spat backspace to get rid of the S. And that now gives me my Mr and Mrs. So I'm going to come to the basic shapes. I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm going to drag a rectangle out so it's wider than my ampersand and I'm going to shrink it down until it's about a half an inch. You can do this precisely by using the properties box if you like but I'm just going to use it with the cursor at the moment. I'm going to select the rectangle, hold my shift key down and select the ampersand, go edit, align, center and edit, align, middle and that puts the line directly in the middle but I don't actually want it there, it's a little bit too high so I'm going to select it and using the arrows on my keyboard, the directional arrows, I'm just going to bring it down myself until I like the look roughly of where it's going to divide. And I think that will do for now. Now it's important to note that the rectangle has to be on top. If you fill it with colour, if I choose a different colour, that sometimes helps you to see which one's on top. And you can see here that you can't see the ampersand through this red rectangle. So that shows the rectangles on top. I'm going to select both. While I've got them both selected, I'm going to come to the subtract icon, which is here, and hit subtract. And that looks okay. I'm just going to undo and take a back step a minute. I'm going to select the rectangle. While it's selected, I'm going to duplicate it and put that one up there. So again, now I'm just going to select the rectangle and the ampersand and hit subtract. Now, even though we've subtracted this, this is still a group. And we want to be able to move this section and this section up slightly so we can weld our bars onto the bottom. So I'm going to select this, right click and hit divide. That will separate these pieces now. These are all individual pieces. So I'm going to left click on there, hold my shift key down and left click on there just to select those two. While those two are both selected, I'm going to right click and hit group and they're now a group. So if I use the arrows on the keyboard now, and just shuffle them up, you can see they're moving together. So now I'm going to bring this one over 
and position it roughly for the moment. While this rectangle is selected, right click and create a duplicate and put that one over there. Now I'm going to select this rectangle, hold my shift key down and select that rectangle. So they're the only two things I've got selected. Edit a line left so they should line up together. And if I'm happy with that positioning, I'm now going to select this half and hit weld, which is this first icon. And then I'm going to select this half and hit weld. Now, if I fill them with colour, I'll just make them black for now and I'll change this to black. You can now see we've got our split ampersand. I'm going to bring this one over here. I'm going to fill this with colour just for the video and this. While the mist is selected, I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to left click and rotate this two turns to bring it there. And then I'm going to position this one here. Now, you may want to make this if you want this misses to fall in line with this, you may want to make this a bit smaller so you can drag it in. You may want to do the same with the mister. You can play about with these. I'm just showing you the technique. Once you've got how it looks, if you want to add another name, you can go back to your text. You can choose a different font or the same font. Just type another, another name. Fill that with black just for the video. Sometimes it makes it easier to see. Then you can separate this down a bit and you can put your word in or you can leave it blank. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Once you're happy with how you've got your positioning, I would select everything, right click and group. So once you've got it as a group, you can hold your shift key down and drag it out or you can make it smaller. Obviously, if you make it smaller, be mindful of what size text you're using for when you come to cut it. But usually these things are cut for wall plaques, but I have seen them on the front of cards and they do look nice. So you just need to give it a name now up here. Use this second icon here with the um, disc and the blue arrow and save it into your scan and cut canvas and then hit download put it onto a memory stick and you can then cut it however you like i hope you found that helpful please don't forget to hit the like button it does tell youtube that you like my channel and it helps youtube to promote my channel so that more people can see the videos please share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you